you got this man you're probably wondering why i have him in this situation well this is a series where i've done some of the craziest things with the uk's biggest prankster nick amalana we are both putting each other through four unbearable situations to see who will go through or who will fold first we're doing all this to answer the question who is the biggest menace <laughs> and the winner is so jim i think you can tell us what exactly is going on well back on my escapade in the most racist town in america i ran into one of the uk's most popular pranksters nick amalana and i just smelled the menace inside of him so i challenged him to a competition to see who was going to be the bigger menace between him or me and i called it the menace off. <laughs> yeah, she challenged me to this menace off. And to be honest with you, I was just using this as an opportunity to get him deported so I never have to see him again. Back in Paris, Nico had me put up something somewhere. So now that it's my turn, I want Nico to put something somewhere. I want Nico to put his balls inside of another man's hole. But not just any man, Rory McElroy's. Okay, so I see Sid here, and this whole cinema is completely empty. Shush. I wanted all of this to play out like a movie. So, to make sure that happened, I ran out of a movie theater and had him watch the greatest movie of all time, Happy Gilmore. Another job and Jade could have just simply explained the plan, but instead he made me watch a whole two-hour movie before he let me hear it. Happy Gilmore, one of the greatest golfers of our time. I want you to be great just like him. So, the plan is I want you to go to a PGA Tour, one of the most highest and prestigious honors any golfer can be bestowed upon him. Not only do I want you to participate, I want you to win. So, I have equipped for you a remote control golf ball. You're gonna go to the 18th hole and hit a hole in one against one of the go to golfing, Roy McIlroy, a four time major tournament champion and one of the greatest of all time. I absolutely despise that Mega Mind merchant, Jid. He wants me to mess with the PGA Tour, which is a major event and high levels of security. And they were never gonna be happy if a scrawny guy like myself decided to get involved and interrupt midway through. You usually don't see too many black people at a PGA Tour, so to make sure no suspicion was raised, we went to our nearest dicks to go on the cover. Yeah. We're getting ready for the PGA Tour. His dad's about to play. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out? What do you say? Yeah. You got home? Just remember this, right? I'm out, you say. What is it? Yeah, there we go. There we go, my guy. Thank you, man. <laughs> we looked apart. We hopped in the car, drove over to the PGA Tour, started scouting around to find the perfect hole for Nico to put his balls in. But this golf ball looked a bit shoddy, so before we could scout out the location, we needed to run a few tests on our amazing golf ball. What I'm about to do is a run through with this ball, and let's see if it works. Well, I'm glad I tried that. You know, if that happens, I think I'll have a heart attack. The first thing I noticed about this golf ball was it would split if I rolled it in the wrong way, which isn't a good thing when I needed to roll it on the green. I'll just end up placing it down here. And then, this is gonna be painfully slow. Nah, that's the, that's the fastest it'll go. The second thing I noticed was it was painfully slow and the ball did not move in a straight line. It was super jaggedy. I just walked on. Stop, Rory, this is how you do it. Oh, little spin, come back and, oh, I lost connection, I can't believe it. And the final thing I noticed was the ball had a very, very limited radius, which meant I had to be close to the ball at all times. Just what you need in a very popular golf tournament with a lot of fans watching. You see, I knew there was gonna be a few problems. So that's why I set a whole day for us to just plan everything out. Because if we fix all the problems that day, whenever it's time to do it, it's gonna be a recipe for it. <laughs> all right. <Yeah>. Yay! <laughs> Success. With all the new information that we gathered on the ball, we then made our way over to the 18th hole, where it was finally time to test and see if this would actually work. Oh my gosh, there we are. Our first golf is... So here, we're gonna go up there. We're gonna be sitting down. We're gonna try to get as close to the town as possible. Then just throw it down right before, you know, he tees off. 
Then you're just controlling us for a whole. I mean, it was the perfect plan. That we couldn't use, because if I were to drop the golf ball from that height, it would have definitely split in half, which meant the whole 18 was out of the mix, and we needed to find a new hole. You good, Jack? Nice to meet you. Good, Yo, I got a question. Thanks. Is there another hole that has more people, or would this be the hole that has the most people right now? Yeah. Hole 15? Yeah. Still? I feel like just dropping, dropping it in isn't going to work. Then here, let's go to hole 15. Since hole 18 was ruled out, we had to ask the young ones what would be the best hole to perform this prank at. And that's when we realized that we had to start making our way over to hole 15. Yo, nigga, what do you think about this hole? Oh, it's pretty full, but I'm saying in terms of distance from there to there. The other side might be closer. Should we try it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. That's so easy. Where is it? There. You don't get this. That's cold. Shall I be real with you, though? It means I have to chuck it through because it won't move through this. Chucking it that far, I could split. Because the cheap plastic golf ball was so bad, it meant if I were to throw the ball, it would split, which meant that if I was going to do this, I had to go onto the golf course, which meant we had to work out a way where I could blend in with the staff and get onto the golf course without too many issues. But, but okay, so if, I, if I'm doing that, what do the officials look like? You see they're wearing these, these bibs. I want to put it on the grass. What I'm saying is, you do it like, if, if, if I can get like one of those bibs or something like that, I can put it on the grass without anyone even blinching. Even at the very least, get one of those white shirts, That's what I was put a cream and then have a pass that just look, yeah. resembles that. Yeah, let's take a picture. We saw this security guard and we basically hatched a plan to take a picture with him just so we could copy his exact look. Excuse me. Sir. Sir. Can we take a picture with you? Please. A picture. Is it okay if we take a picture with you? A picture. We come from England, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got, is that, is that okay? Well, on this side or that side? Uh, Over here, that's fine. <laughs> Honestly, thank you so much. Hey. Has anyone got a hole in one on this hole yet? Seven inches was closed. Uh, and that was Michael. Was it? Michael, of course. <laughs> of course it was Michael. Of Rory? Course it was <laughs> in no way it was Rory. They put it in the water here. Did he? Yeah. Oh, wow. He tripled? No. You know, he actually tripled bogey my mom. So that's a whole different story. That's crazy. I can't believe you were even revealing that one. Wait, guys, stop! Are you a munch? You want to go on a date with Ice Spice? Hit that like button right now and subscribe to my channel for a chance to win a PS5 custom and a date with Ice Spice herself. Hurry up. There's a lot of munches out there. Thank you, man. It's like a side mission in Skyrim. We had to get him four items in order to get him on the golf course. We had to get a hat, a lanyard, a white polo shirt, and probably the hardest out of all of them, a PGA badge. So the item that we decided to go after first was the lanyard. Excuse me, man. Uh, by any chance, I see everybody walking around with lanyards. I love lanyards. Where can I get lanyards. one? You mean like one of these? I don't think they're selling them in the store. Oh, like, really? Maybe they are. Try yeah. that. Try the merchandise tag. They have everything in the merchandise. Oh, amazing. Yeah, Great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. OK, thank you so much. So we had figured out what we needed to get close to the hole, but now we have to actually find the apparel. So we went over to the merch tent and tried to match it up exactly to what the volunteers had on. During our time in the merch tent, we were able to get three out of the four items that we needed. Now all we needed to do was make the four. So we headed back home, had Kowalski hop on Photoshop, make us a fake PGA badge, now it's time to just get a name. What's the name say? Yeah, we'll say. Yeah. That oh. is the name of my great grandfather. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep, yep, it is. Uh, so thank you. And uh, yeah, honestly, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. The PGA Tour BMW Championship. My eyes are set on the GOAT, Rory McElroy himself. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. It's day two now. Nico literally has no excuse. We done all the planning. He has the ball. He practiced with it. And he's in uniform. There was one area that we messed up though. Nico, I knew they, they changed it. I knew they were. Look, I can't zoom in, but they, they flipped it. Meet us in the back, meet us in the back. Sometimes on major tournament days, they change the hole from one side of the green to the other just to switch it up. And we didn't count for this. So we had to change the plan. Remember when I said they were going to change the holes? Yeah. They changed them. Change the plans. Follow me. You're going to have to go in through that side because it's closer. If you go in through the side that we were thinking about going through, it'll take too long for the ball to get there. I won't lie, I was very nervous. Usually when I'm disturbing events, I'll do it when the event is finished. And I'll have some type of reason 
for why I'm doing it in the first place. And with this one, there was no reason. And I knew they weren't just gonna let some random guy trolling their event get away with it. There was going to be consequences, but I still had to do it. And here we have McElroy, locked in, ready. And bam, McElroy wrapping up on hole eight with a par. You see what I mean? We didn't plan for it to be a all the way on this side. We wanted to be as close as possible. I think if you just walk through, you'll be perfectly fine. We're gonna go on and go on the other side. If you wanna go on that side, go on that side. Okay, I'm saying this side. Okay. Let's go back to the spot. Despite the major change, the plan was still a go. But Rory was stroking that thing fast. And he was fast approaching 15 holes. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank Probably you. wondering why a bunch of people are taking pictures with me. Yeah, you do. Tell us who you are. Rory likes black girls and there's rumors that I might be his son. <laughs> Rory. I don't know, you can see it in the face. All right, well, we're gonna, send, we're gonna start that How old are you? on social media. How, I'm 21. How old is Rory? He started early. Yeah. He wasn't that much of a professional raw dogger. With only three strokes in, that's what we call a par in the world of golf, my friends. Rory has officially demolished hole 12. It's almost time. We're right next to the hole. Rory McIlroy is about to step up. There is only one thing to do, but there's a million things that could go wrong. So go on, man. Let's just hope we do it. All we've got to do now is just wait for Rory to arrive. I'll take this off and it's, it's time to go. Focused, keen, and aware. And he takes that shot on the 15th hole. Was that Rory that's in here? I'm not sure. I can't see. That was Rory. He's got a green shirt for sure. Yeah. Rory had just gotten to the 15th hole. It was make or break time for Nico now. Okay. Rory's here over there. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. As I walked away to get changed into my disguise, I thought to myself, this is it. The moment we all prepared for is right around the corner. Bro, bro, go, he's about to finish, go. This one's Rory, the one in the green. Rory's about to tee off and leave the 15th hole. This was our only chance. Is he going? I might just go now. Go, go, go. Should I go? Go. go? go. I have one try at this. If I fail, I'm done. I folded and I lose this series. Dad, you got this, Dad! Rory! 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 Yo, what's that guy doing? So I put the ball down and I locked eyes with Mr. Rory McIlroy. And I said to him, This is how you get a hole in one. Are you ready? I don't know. Rory doesn't seem too happy with somebody. I'm going to do it. What's going on here? Is there a remote control oh. ball there? No! Rory! It was clear Rory didn't want me to put my ball in his hole. But I still had one more chance to put it in there. Please, man. Please, Rory. Rory, stop. It's my dream! Oh, it's gonna be hard to control that Rory! <laughs> That's my dream, Rory! Rory McElroy picked up my ball and threw it into the ocean, never to be seen again, to the bottom of the sea, and it was over for me. Boom! You all stop! Good job, you bro! Stop. That's my dream! You'll get him next time! Oh. You you get him next time, man! You we just had the biggest golfer in the world grab our golf ball and throw it into the lake. And it could have all been prevented if Nico just made a hole in one. I knew we couldn't find it. I had one dream. One dream. No. You will regret this day, Rory McIlroy. I mean, how are we all doing? Peace out, guys! Let's go! Let's go! Go! Go, 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 go! Let's go! Wow. Look at Nico. He got past security, made it onto the course, actually got to talk to the GOAT himself, Rory McElroy. And then the whole part of this video which was for him to get the ball into the hole. He fucked that up, and then Nico was caught, taken away, and then after finally finding him, he found out he had been arrested. 
We went from police station to police station to try to find out where he was booked. Then after hours of looking, we finally got a call. We coming for you, man. We coming. Oh, you can't save me. I don't have much time. Uh, I got uh, one, one question. What's up? Uh, is, is that a fault? <laughs> well, I mean, you were right there and you didn't miss the hole like three times. You can't do this, man. You know what? Just because you got arrested, not a fault. Good job. All right, see you in two days, bro. We're going to go, uh, I don't know, Vegas. Now, although Nico didn't get the ball in the hole, we didn't take into account that Rory was a part-time goalkeeper and he got arrested. So, no fault. Well done, Nico. Fair play to Jid for getting me arrested for the sake of a YouTube series. But I really thought to myself and realized that I don't want to do this anymore because the amount of pain I'm going to cause Jid in the next one is going to be crazy. My vengeance will seep through his skin. So the plan is to scare Jid into thinking he's getting cancelled, but worse than that, cancelled by his own community. I'm colorblind, you know? Like, actually. So the caption says, I like my family melanin free. He's not even just trying to make me bold. He's trying to end me. Where I'm from, we will call you an Uncle Tom. A sell out. I am so ashamed of you. Hey guys, man, be sure to go check out episode one and two over on Nico's channel. He got me arrested over in Paris and I pranked him with his lifelong enemy, Shannon the Cannon Briggs. They're both bangers. Also, if you guys want a chance to win a PS5, make sure that you subscribe to me and Nico and follow us both on IG. 